May 5th, a Zarephath Crucible, Elijah Part 3. Go and live in the village of Zarephath, near the city of Sidon. I have instructed a widow there to feed you, 1 Kings 17. Is God preparing you for greater things as he did Elijah? Already the prophet had faced King Ahab and endured long isolation by Cherith Brook. Now he was being prepared for the Mount Carmel challenge. Cherith Brook had dried up. It was only at that point, and not before, that God told Elijah to travel a hundred miles across enemy territory to Zarephath. Crucible, the very hometown of his arch enemy Jezebel. There, at the precise moment he arrived at the gate by divine appointment, was the woman who would help him. A wealthy proprietor of a hotel? Not at all. Here was a poor widow, a pagan Gentile, who only had sufficient food for a final meal with her only son. Yet the three of them were miraculously sustained by unending cornmeal and olive oil. God had used an unclean, flesh-eating bird and a pen penniless widow to feed Elijah. So who are we to second-guess our loving Father? The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. If we truly believe that scripture, why are we complaining, worrying, or trying to analytically figure everything out instead of trusting him? Everything was settling down when the widow's son drops dead. She blames Elijah. He just said, give me your son. There followed the first recorded resurrection. Is God steadily preparing you for greater things? Through Cherith isolation and Zarephath crucible rejoice. God is preparing you for Carmel blessings. Crucibles create Christlikeness.